in last month's premiere episode of Heart of Dixie, starring Rachel Bilson, the sassy New Yorker made a house-style pregnancy diagnosis based on nothing more than dark splotches of the skin on the face of an unwed, overweight, small-town teenager. Well, how did she do it? The clue is hyperpigmentation on the face, so common during pregnancy. It's often called the mask of pregnancy. But melasma doesn't just affect women while they're pregnant. It can happen before, during, or after pregnancy. And once it rears its ugly head, it often never completely goes away. That's true. The combination of estrogenic hormones plus UV exposure causes melasma to blossom. By now, we all know that avoiding sun exposure is a key anti-aging strategy. For those who've been affected by melasma, that's me, <laughs> sun abstinence is absolutely essential. The darker your complexion is, the less risk you have for premature aging. However, for darker skin types like Beyonce, especially during pregnancy, the risk of melasma is huge and requires even stronger precautions. So no matter what your skin type is, ladies, slather on the sunscreen, make a big brimmed hat a wardrobe staple, and limit your outdoor activities as much as possible. And do take cover from the sun, whether it's raining or shining. <laughs> I'm Dr. Katie Brodan. I'm Dr. Kathy Fields. Skin, it's a beautiful thing. Wear it well. Skin Pact, it's not just about celebrities, it's about you. And for advice on your journey to great skin, tune into our blog at dermrf.com.